Hello Capricorn, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Please remember this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everyone. You can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. And we've got the situation will improve. We have look for a sign. Now this is the universe and spirit trying to get in touch with you here. This could be repeating numbers. It could be repeated songs on the radio. Um, feathers, cats, leaves falling at your feet. Uh, anything like that. Things that you see over and over again. They're drawing your attention. They're trying to connect in with you here. A year from now. So that's going to be significant. A year from now is a time card there. Eh? Let's have a look and see. So things are ready to improve here. But it's trying to connect in with you to reassure you of things. The Seven of Wands. The Nine of Wands. We can see why things need to improve there. The Hermit card. Now this here is Taurus energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or somebody with Taurus in their chart. The Eight of Wands. There's your improvements, your movement forward. There's why we need things need to improve. We've got the Five of Pentacles, the overall central energy here. There's your endings. The Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands. The World card. My goodness. Hmm. Do some people could get married in a year's time. Things could change. And there's your Eight of Cups. Now, there's a new chance for stability here. There's something here that's very challenging and that's lost its luster. So this could be job situations. It could be work. It could be your financial situation or your environments. But there's feelings of let down, disappointment, feeling left out in the cold and abandoned. Now, this is overall energy and it's a five. So fives are needing to change. The way we change things is we don't focus on the disappointments. This is looking at things as if um, we're feeling a bit victimised here. Our cup's half empty. If we change this and we start to let these disappointments go and we focus on the five here, these pentacles, and come into the present, we change the energies and things will improve. So it's about letting the past go here. There's been very, very challenging times in a certain area of your life and you've been feeling as if you're disappointed and you've had enough of it now. So the, the anxiety over whatever this is, is over. The challenges that you've been through are karmic lessons that you've learned. So they will serve you well in the future. He's done, he's had enough. You're at the end of this. The cycle is ending of disappointments and anxieties. You have one thing left to do to end these challenges and that is to change the way you're looking at this. If you change the way you're looking at this, that's the last lesson you need to learn. That gets you to the 10. Okay, so this will turn into a 10. And we see this here as a learning experience. So the minute you see this as a learning experience, your challenges are over, the energies around you will change, and situations will improve. But there's one thing left you need to do, and it's your mental perception here. Now, there's a lot of here on this table, a lot of cards here that have got change and, you know, disappointment here. There's something that's missing in your life. Um, there's something you're not happy with. You're not content anymore. Now, you can see him looking out here. Where do I go from here? Where am I going to find my ninth cup? Which is your, the ninth of cups is your contentment. Where am I going to find wish fulfillment? What am I needing to do here? First of all, we need to focus on the present. We need to be admitting to ourselves what's missing here. We need to listen to our intuition. We need to do our soul searching. So we're looking for this ninth cup that makes us happy. We need to take ourselves away on our own. We need to ground ourselves. We need to do the, you know, we listen to, we've gained enough knowledge here. We have gained enough knowledge in our life to be able to solve this. So this is about connecting in with yourself, grounding yourself, taking yourself for a walk, a weekend away. But a very soul-like type energy. It's not about being around other people, environments or situations that have caused a disappointment. It's about how am I going to go forward? I'm going to focus on these five of pentacles and what am I going to do now? And if you listen to your intuition and you do your soul searching, you will get and gain the enlightenment you need over this situation that's caused that you're not happy with anymore. Now, this could be long-term jobs. It could be relationships. It could be you're moving on here. 
things could be very different in the future. We're talking about a year's time. It doesn't mean to say that you couldn't have. Don't think because this relationship hasn't worked out that I can't be married and have a family. A year from now, who knows what's going to happen? There could still be marriage. There could still be stability. You will find your happiness if you do your soul searching. And this is about you being determined to leave your disappointments behind you, most definitely. Look at life as if your cup's half full, and this will change. It will totally change. It's very hard sometimes, if we've been in things for a while, to admit that there's something missing. We know it, intuitively know it, but actually saying it out loud is where the change is going to come. You know, we can be sitting in these disappointments, but we need to change it. We need to say, this is what's not working anymore. This is what's disappointing me. I'm not happy. I feel abandoned. I feel left out in the cold. I'm ready to admit it. I'm ready to say, right, I need to look for my contentment. I'm going to focus on these five. I'm coming into the present. I'm going to be real. It's almost here as if I feel like you need a reality check because you've learned the lessons. It's about admitting to yourself here as well for some of you. It'll be admitting to yourself. But this here, you know, once you do that, you'll move forward very quickly. The universe is connecting in with you. Spirit and the universe are aware that you're in this place. But situations do need to improve. Things do need to improve. And they're well aware of that. So invite spirit in. Look for signs that your loved ones are around you, most definitely. This is news. Things will appear. Now, once we admit that there's something missing and we're prepared to focus on that and look to the future, towards our happiness, things start to change. It's about having a determination. We've got the seven and the eight. Being determined to improve things. Being, focusing on the present. I am determined that I'm going to find happiness. I'm determined to walk towards contentment. I'm determined to let all these disappointments go and come into the present. I know it's been challenging, but I've learned loads and I'm ready now. I've done my soul searching and I'm ready and determined to go forward. I've got the upper hand here. I've got the knowledge I need. We've got the eight and the, eight, sorry, the seven and the nine. So the lessons are there. You've got the upper hand now. This can be standing your ground and speaking up as well. Standing up for yourself. And that might be needed for some of you. Being honest about things. Standing up, speaking up, being determined to change things. And what happens when we do that, we move forward very quickly. Now, there's good news can come in. This is it. This could be texts, emails, uh, you know, any kind of a movement. This could be new opportunities. Good news will come in. The universe will support you here. They're well aware that things are needing to improve. Um, so it's definitely important that we understand that things can get better and be determined to, to make things better. This could also be forward movement, any kind of travel. You might want to go on a holiday to get a break. You might need that. You know, you could be moving jobs, moving home, moving countries. Any kind of forward movement, energetically, very fast moving forward energies, very fast moving energies. So things could improve very quickly once you, you speak up, you're prepared to admit what's going on, let go of the disappointments. Things could improve very, very quickly for you. There could be a sudden move forward. Uh, and stability, you're going to start to restore stability again. You're going to be successful at creating stability. A year from now, things are going to look very, very different. The stability going to be restored to you, your family, or your soul tribe. But what happens here is brand new chapters in your life will begin. So you're leaving behind unsatisfying situations. Things that don't make you happy anymore. You're leaving them behind. You're ready to start that brand new chapter of your life. You're determined here to improve your life. So it could be shutting down one chapter of your life and starting another one. So that can mean a load of different things for a load of different people. But the thing about this world card is when you go through that portal, you never look back. You're not meant to look back. So it's very for You're going to benefit. A year from now, things will look very, very different. But you've got to admit that you're ready to improve things. Strength. Strength. You have an enormous amount of strength and courage. Remain focused. Stand tall and shine. Be determined to bring these changes in. Okay, I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.